Welcome to Aging Gracefully, where being a senior means being celebrated and growing old is appreciated and respected. But today I do have a friend, Pat Heinke, that I would like to introduce you to. And Pat came to a Silver Sneakers class that I teach a couple months ago. So we haven't known each other very long. Mm -hmm. But I remember being just so impressed by you just <laughs> <laughs> when I first met you. Um, and I think my first time was just because I learned your age. And you're 85 years old. That's correct. And that shocked me. And then I found out that you were a, a Tai Chi teacher. And so when you're a teacher and you have other teachers in your class, it's it's humbling. <laughs> and I, you know, and I just, I really kept my eyes on you a lot and just kept thinking, you are amazing to me. And I want to be like you at 85. You're graceful. Your posture is so beautiful. And you're so youthful in the way you speak, the, in all of your actions. And there's so much more to you. So the more I learned, the more I thought, I want you to be the first person on my little show. So thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you for coming. So let's let's start with I know you have a beautiful family. Yes. You have three children, correct? Yes, that's correct. And then also a foster child as well. Yes. I think I'd love to hear you talk a little bit about Tai Chi. Because I teach yoga as well, yoga mm -hmm. and Tai Chi are often Very, referred to yes. in the same conversations because, one, they're, they're considered very healthy for aging adults. Yes. They're also great for connecting mind and body. So how did you get started with Tai Chi? Well, I had seen people doing Tai Chi when I visited uh, California and other places that I've been. And I just, I was just drawn to it. And a close friend of mine one day said, I went to a Tai Chi class the other day. Where did you go? And it was at Rocky River Senior Center. It was being taught by Richard Lair. So I signed up immediately too. And I was, I was just in, just had turned 65. So I joined his class, and um, within a very short time, I realized that if I didn't do Tai Chi with other people, I would never stick with it. Uh, it would be too easy to delay, to put off. I'll do it later. I have laundry. Isn't with the usual funny? excuses. Can but we could do the warm-ups. Okay. And, but, so we had a list, and we had the paper, and we just looked at the paper, and we did the exercises, and then we went home. The third week, three people showed up. And then we, uh, as the weather got worse, we were meeting at Huntington Park. The first two years, we were outside all year round. Oh, really? Through the winter time? Through the winter. Wow. And uh, by this time, we were up to six people. And uh, another couple wanted to join us, but they had both had open heart surgery and they couldn't tolerate the cold. They found out we could do it at Westgate Mall in the center when the mall walkers were walking around before the stores opened. Okay. So we were there for 10 years. So you had a place to go indoors yes. now. Yes. And we went in, we still went outside to Huntington Park in the summers. And when they tore the mall down, we had to look for another place to go. My theory was it should never be a fee to do it and it should be in a public space. And um, so uh, it was difficult to find a place that would allow us to come in. And one of our members at that point had some pull with the city of Bay Village and they, they um, talked them into letting us use the Bay Youth Center that was behind City Hall uh, because the kids are in school all day mm -hmm. and we could use it for that hour in the morning. And we were there for another five years or so until they gave it to a daycare center. And so then we were on the lookout for another again, place to Again, all over again. Okay. And now we are at the Knickerbocker in the wintertime, which is the senior residential building. And uh, 
And you're open to anyone coming. Anyone can join us. From any community. And there is no fee. Any There's age. There's no charge. Any no charge, age. Any charge, any age. Any no charge. Any ability. Yes. Okay. And, and we have acquired people because they've seen us in the park or mm -hmm. at the mall. And uh, it's just, it's a really wonderful group. We have, because it teaches you to look before you leap. And uh, to prevent falls, uh, I say, that you know, mindfulness. Yeah, mindfulness. Mm -hmm. When you're in a dangerous situation like carrying laundry down the stairs or uh, hauling a bag of groceries in on icy conditions in the winter, mm -hmm. um, that you are paying attention. Okay. I just have to say that when my great grandmother was 85, she didn't look like you. She was very much older than you mm -hmm. she would be leaning on things mm -hmm. supporting herself mm -hmm. so this difference in what I used to picture mm -hmm. 85 compared to what I see these days in you and some of our, mm -hmm. our other friends my mother lived to be a hundred over a hundred right. so would you say that you had an assumption that you would always grow old as well yes you know I've always had the feeling that I can do it if they can do it uh -huh. <laughs> Have you always kept even a number in your head? Like, I want to live to be... Well, when I took up the cello at the age of 80... <laughs> we have yet to talk about that. <laughs> I've always been very active. I did a lot of heavy gardening. Mm -hmm. and um, Gardening is wonderful yes. for us. If you're in the right form and yeah. you're not hurting your back. And... Uh, well, and I started to take up running when that became the fad. Turned out I had collapsed arches. I didn't even realize it. Mm -hmm. And once I got into an orthotic, it made the biggest difference in the world. For once I was walking properly and my back wasn't killing me anymore. Did you go back to running or just figured that I, walking is really I, all you need? Yeah, needed? I did speed walking for a mm. while. And uh, I've tried various things. But Tai Chi was the first time that I really got to into something that I felt was a lifelong that would be a lifelong practice. Mm -hmm. I just get restless if I sit around too much. Although I can get involved in novels and read for a whole day and not be able to put the book down until I'm double, having double vision. <laughs> but, <laughs> but then I, next day I have to make up for it. <laughs> right. By being really busy. A little bit more about the cello. You already had played instruments. You were already musically inclined, let's say. If I try to play the violin and hold my hand in this position, the fingers tend to lock down and I have to pry them off the strings. Mm. With the cello, you're holding your hand flat against the, the uh, keyboard and, mm -hmm. uh, and it, it, it just, um, and you don't even use your thumbs. So what's wonderful about your story is that you still didn't quit. You just found something else right. that would work. And that's wonderful to hear. Mm -hmm. And I think so inspiring, too. And we, ha we are required to perform in two concerts, one in December and one in May. And uh, I was shocked and horrified when I heard <laughs> my very first year, my very first <laughs> semester, I was going to have to perform in a concert. I was a nervous wreck. <laughs> really? But how wonderful that you did it. Yes. <laughs> you know, so again, you just take everything to another level. I love this about you because you didn't like just say, well, I think I'll start to learn the cello. I mean, you took it above that. I'm going to learn the cello. I'm going to do it big <laughs> with the right well, people. I didn't realize and... it was going to be big. <laughs> well, yes, I've, I have made the best friends mm -hmm. through that program. We just have a wonderful, I met people that I would never have met any other way. Mm -hmm. Professors at BW who were in the program, teachers from all over the area. Uh, it's just the most, it's the most amazing group of people. So I've had some seniors tell me that the best way to go through your senior years is to keep making new, new friends. friends, new friends, yes. young friends, so that you're not focused on your losses. Exactly. You keep because they do accumulate. You have a lot of losses when you get to this right. age. And so you could just focus on that and just yes. be sad, but you choose not to. No.
I, I want to be like you, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> At 85, I want to be able to say the wonderful things that I have given as, as well as you have. Okay, well, you're going to teach me some Tai Chi today, right? Mm -hmm. So let's get ready. So, all right, here we go. Okay. I'm your student now. Okay. Well, in warm-ups, we begin at, promptly at 9.30 at the park, and we shift the weight from right to left, to right, to left. Try to keep the knee over the toe. Ball of chi is between the hands. We're going to turn the hip, and we're going to face away from the direction that we're leaning. So you, the weight is on the foot that's behind you as you turn and sink down as low as you can go comfortably. And then you open the arms like a bird opening wings, lifting elbows, wrists, press out with the hands. Elbows, wrists, press out with the hands. Just, it's like a dance. It is. It's beautiful. And it's beautiful to see a whole group of people doing it. I can and only everybody imagine. everybody moving at the same. It's like watching the waves blow over seaweed and all the fronds move. Mm -hmm. And you see everybody in the group turn. It's just lovely. And then we're going to move on to experiencing your work with the cello, <laughs> you amazing woman. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll do the best I can. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Awesome. The Radetzky March by Strauss. Okay, so this is going to be exciting. And we talked earlier about your hands, and can you show me the position of your hand in this? How it's, yes, it, how it's... this was why I took up the cello, is because the hand can stay flat against the strings. I don't have to hold it like a violin. Okay. <laughs> 